Hello everyone, welcome to another video from Emotion. In this video today, we bring you the groundbreaking news from the world of electric vehicles. The Tesla 4680 battery is now happening. Before we dive into the details, make sure you subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to never miss an update from us. That said, now let's begin. A recording ramp from Tesla's 4680 pilot line has begun at the Fremont factory at Cato Road. According to Tesla's careers page, the company is looking for production associates to work on the 4680 manufacturing line. To be considered for a production associate position, you must be at least 18 years old. According to Tesla, there is no requirement for prior experience or a degree to apply for this position. According to Tesla's definition, production associate positions are physically demanding jobs. Elon Musk mentioned calendaring issues during the company's most recent earnings call and Tesla's recent employment ramp for the 4680 pilot production line in Fremont suggests the company may have overcome them, making the transition from small-scale manufacturing to large-scale volume production is fraught with challenges. And without getting too technical, right now we're having a problem with calendaring or squashing the cathode material to a specific height, Musk said during the quarter to 2021 earnings call. The narrator explains, quote, It basically runs through these rollers and is smashed like pizza dough, but extremely hard pizza dough. It's making a dent in the pages of the calendar, he explained, this didn't happen when the calendar rolls were smaller, but it did when they were larger. Once operations at Giga Texas and Giga Berlin begin, Tesla plans to produce Model Y vehicles with structural battery packs with 4680 cells. On the other hand, Tesla uses non-structural battery packs and 2170 cells as a backup strategy. Musk also mentioned that a large amount of equipment for high-volume cell production at Giga Austin and Giga Berlin was either on order or on the way. According to him, Tesla could produce 100 gigawatt hour per year on an annualized basis by 2022. By the end of the year, we have all the technology in place to achieve 100 gigawatt hours, and it's likely that we'll be at 100 gigawatt hour yearly pace by the end of 2022, said Andrew Baglino, Tesla's senior vice president of powertrain and energy engineering. The first walls of Tesla Giga Berlin's battery plant went up on the site today, signaling the start of construction. Tesla announced in 2019 that it would open a new car manufacturing facility in Brandenburg, Germany, near Berlin. The facility, dubbed Giga Berlin because of the city's size, will be used to sell the company's vehicles to European consumers who have been more accepting of electric vehicles than in other parts of the world. The plant is expected to begin manufacturing vehicles later this year as the primary production facility, where assembly will take place near its completion. As vehicle production approaches, Tesla's contracted construction workers are focusing on the battery manufacturing plant, which will produce the new 4680 structural cells that the carmaker announced in September 2020. The battery plant is starting to take shape, according to new photos shared on Twitter by at GF4Tesla, after receiving preliminary approval to develop the site earlier this year. Despite the fact that Tesla has not yet received final approval for the battery plant, German authorities only grant preliminary approval to projects that have a good chance of being approved in the end. The initiative has already received financial backing, according to a report from Tag Spiegel. According to a German news site, Tesla could receive up to 1.135 billion euros from the Federal Ministry of Economic Affairs and Energy because the project could be included in the EU's important project of Common European Interest Initiative. Tesla will ship cells from its Cato Road facility in Northern California to Germany to help with the production of electric vehicles as the factory will be ready to build vehicles before the 4680 battery lines ramp up. The 4680 cells will be included in the first Model Y models to leave the factory's assembly lines as of today. When completed, Elon Musk, the facility's CEO, expects it to be one of the world's largest battery manufacturing plants. Musk said in November at the European Battery Conference 2020, quote, I think it'll be the most important. It would be capable of producing more than 100 gigawatt hour per year, with the ability to increase to 200 to 250 gigawatt hour per year in the future. I'm confident it would be the world's largest battery cell plant at the time. To meet the current demand for Tesla vehicles in Europe, Tesla has begun shipping Model 3 and Model Y vehicles built at Giga Shanghai, China to Europe. Exports of these vehicles may begin to decline as Giga Berlin ramps up production, which could supply the European market with up to 500,000 vehicles per year in its first year. According to StoreDot, an Israeli lithium-ion battery manufacturer, a fast-charging cylindrical battery cell based on Tesla's 4680 battery cell that can be fully charged in 10 minutes has been introduced. It took several years for StoreDot to develop 
its own 4680 cylindrical silicon dominant battery cell, which was kicked off at Warwick University in the United Kingdom in collaboration with BP, a British oil and gas super major, and one of Storedot's key partners. Storedot claims that their new 4680 format has been in the works for over three years and is increasingly preferred by global vehicle manufacturers. Although it's unclear whether Storedot is trying to avoid any potential legal challenges over the design of its new battery cells, the company's official press release was quick to point out not only its three-year development process, but also that the 4680 battery cell technology is covered by five patents in the area of cell design and uses Storedot's continuous tap technology. Achieving the goal of extreme rapid charging of a cylindrical cell in under 10 minutes has been in Storedot's technical roadmap from day one said Storedot CEO Dr. Darren Meyersdorf. After three years of intense development and testing, using many vectors of our world-class investigations, I am enormously pleased with the effective teamwork across our globe that enabled this major success. It's critical for us to be able to provide electric vehicle manufacturers with a variety of cell forms that use our XFC technology to address the current barriers to EV ownership, such as range and charging anxiety. It's much anticipated battery day in mid-2020 Tesla unveiled its own 4680 battery cell design. The designation 4680 simply refers to the cylindrical battery's 46mm diameter and 80mm length. During the unveiling, Tesla CEO Elon Musk stated that the new battery have five times the energy density of current battery packs and will cut cell design cost by 14% per kilowatt hour, will increase range by 16%, and will produce six times the power. Similar claims are made by Storedot about the 4680 battery cell's increased efficiency and power. According to Storedot, the cylindrical design would provide a 50% reduction in charging time at the same cost in both pouch and cylinder versions. Furthermore, Storedot's continuous tap technology increases throughput while addressing safety and performance issues commonly associated with the hard case construction of cylindrical cells. If you're interested in other fascinating things about Lucid Motors, then make sure to check out our video on Lucid Motors confirmed first deliveries. You can go check this out after the video. According to Storedot, the 4680 cylindrical cell shape necessitated unique chemical adaptation to address concerns like higher internal pressure, gas discharge, and possible leakage. Despite this, the company claims it's the first use of silicon-dominant anode extreme rapid charge cylindrical cells in the world. EVE Energy is scaling up Storedot's extreme fast charge pouch and cylinder forms which will be ready for mass production in 2024. At EV Energy, Storedot's manufacturing partner in China, cylindrical cell samples are now being ramped up on the production lines. Meyersdorf continued, quote, We're pleased that our silicon-dominant XFC battery cell chemistry is adaptable and can be used in a variety of package forms to meet changing market demands. Both our cylinder and pouch cell form factors are safe, dependable, and stable, and mass production is expected to begin in 2024. We're in advanced talks with a number of major manufacturers about supplying them with a variety of XFC cells, which will allow for a quick transition to a zero-emissions electrified future. Tesla's previous battery day in September of last year, two statements caught people's attention. A hint that Tesla would produce a $25,000 vehicle in a few years sparked the most debate. The introduction of a new cell type known as the 4680, which is expected to be available in volume in 2021, was more immediate. The cell is 10 millimeters long and has a diameter greater than twice that of the 2170 type used in most Tesla vehicles today. Tesla vehicles, according to Musk, would have a 16% longer range, 6 times the power, and cost 14% less per kilowatt hour. The new technology, however, has not been without flaws. As the September 2020 battery day, Musk stated that Tesla would have produced about 10 gigawatt hour of new cells by September 2021. The output yield in 2020, on the other hand, was only 20%. Given that this isn't just a technical upgrade to a larger cell, this isn't surprising. The new cell is called Tabless because it employs dry electrode fabrication, which reduces the number of steps in the manufacturing process and allows for the use of a variety of anodes and cathode materials. How do you feel about the 4680 battery? Do you believe this will have major impact in the coming years? Please let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. Also, thank you for taking the time to watch the video. If you enjoyed it, please like, share, and subscribe to our channel to stay up to date on the latest news and updates.